Hello everybody, I'm Chip Walton. I'm Michael Dawson, we're from Northern Brewer, and this is Brewing TV's Tasting Notes on New Glarus's Thumbprint Series, Cherry Stout. This is Dan, meaning Dan Carey's, gold medal winning Cherry Stout. This ale is aged in oak barrels to promote spontaneous fermentation. Eight Wisconsin malted barleys combined with Wisconsin Montmorency cherries make for a complex and sublime taste experience that you may never find again. So that's what the bottle tells us. The internet tells us that the category <laughs> and competition which this beer won its gold medals in was the Great American Beer Festival as a wood and barrel aged beer. Gold medals 2005 and 6. That we could find. Right. There may be more. Chip, what do you get out of the nose of the beer once it's out of the bottle? Definitely sour cherry, tart cherry. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of oak. It almost seems sweet though instead of like a more tannic, woodsy oak. I described it as warm. Yeah. Warm oak. I got a little bit of kind of bitter chocolate roast grain character, not especially stouty. Right. It's uh, in that sour cherry character you mentioned. It's uh, it's really reminiscent of the New Glarus Belgian Red, yes. I think. Mm -hmm. If you like the Belgian Red, you would love this beer. Yeah, this is a step away from like the fruit bomb that Belgian Red is into obviously something wood and barrel aged. Another thing to say about the moniker Cherry Stout, this is by no means at least in first glance, very stouty. You can see through it, you can see a very beautiful glint of red. You yeah, can... it's not totally black, not totally opaque. That nice, transparent garnet, quite clear. For the record, the clickety-clack you keep hearing are a dog's toenails walking on hardwood floor. That has nothing to do with New Glarus or a cherry stout. Broom TV loves dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Don't expect uh, your typical pitch black, dark, kind of dense on the body stout with cherry added. Think high on the cherry. Having said that, I think it gets more stout-like in the flavor. I think that coffee, cocoa, bitter chocolate, roast grain character comes through a little bit more in the mouth than it does on the nose. Mm -hmm. There's an immediate rush of cherry right after that, and then it's kind of a balanced finish. A little more oak, a little more of the uh, vanilla, warm kind of campfire notes. Mm -hmm. One thing I noticed and appreciated about this beer is that it shows different facets as you drink it. Every sip is a little bit different as it warms up and breathes in the glass. It continues to evolve. It's complex, but approachable. Right. And I think that's one of the hallmarks of New Glarus' style. Their beers across the board are really well balanced. They're interesting without being busy. They're very approachable. It's possible this beer picked up some bugs from aging in, in the barrels, mm -hmm. but it's not overpowering, it's not overstated like in a uh, goise or something like that. It's approachable, it's really nice, it's balanced, it's harmonious. The stout character is in check with the cherries and with the oak. It's a very well made beer. I'd put it alongside, I wrote down, I'd put it alongside like a sweet shortbread. Maybe. Mm -hmm. in, in its fruitiness, it almost wants to be kind of shortcake or some chocolate. I'm sure it would go alongside um, some sorts of chocolate really well. I was thinking more carnivorously. I was thinking duck. Ooh. The cherry would go really well with duck or pork. Pork loin. Pork roast. boy. Crown roast of pork. New Glarus is one of my favorite breweries and they did not disappoint me. Right. All for brew. Brew for all.